Hi everybody and welcome. It's Scarlet Pete, self-sufficiency with the pig diaries. Just thought I'd show you the pigs are so much more comfortable with us now that they're actually happy to go in their beds and make their beds with me watching. They're definitely putting on weight. They're definitely enjoying being around us, aren't you piggies? And they're making a little bed and nest there look to sleep in. They really have been fun to have these pigs, watching them change. He's going to lie down, look. There we are, tucked up in bed. Sleepy piggies. Oh, piggy, piggy, piggies. There we go, nice piggies. Now we need a bit more bedding in there, so we'll give them some in a minute. Because it's nice that they can bury themselves in it when need be. And it's nice that there's two of them because pigs love to cuddle up together and uh, snuggle to keep each other warm. They like touch, they like feel, they, they really do appreciate touch. So let's, while we're talking about bedrooms for pigs, what they need is they need ventilation. So we've got some ventilation at the back there. They definitely need to be kept dry. So we've got these sheets to keep them dry. It needs to be something they can rub against. So we've got solid metal sides there because pigs do like to rub and throw things around. They need their bedding to be hay, straw, paper, whatever. They even like to take twigs and sticks into their beds to make them. As you can see, they're a little bit wary. They're like, what are you doing in our bedroom? He's showing the whites of his eyes just a little bit. But they'll settle back down again. They'll be happy that I'm here. Won't you pigs in the end? Yes, that's a good piggy wiggy. And pigs must always have company. It's really sad to see a pig on its own. They need touch, they need to play fight, they need to snuggle and talk because they do talk. And they're always fighting around bits and pieces and doing things. So that's our pig's housing. This is just very temporary. It's against a solid wall, which is the barn, which has an overhang above. So the water's going to run off from the barn, hit the sheeting and run off again. It's just temporary because this is still their trainer pen. As you can see, they're, they're doing quite a good lot job of learning how to dig. Not digging huge holes yet, but they're rummaging around. So you can see they're getting more comfortable with having noses that work. Now they've got their nose rings out. So I think that'll be it for today's pig diary. Thanks ever so much for watching. Join us next time when we'll be talking about a different subject. All to do with the pig's life with us. Bye bye.